So you'll see that the rectangle, uh, like the body, uh, the bird's body, which uh, was as a, which we initialized as a white rectangle, is being drawn on the screen, but it's been drawn like multiple times. Like the Pi game window is basically drawing it again and again and again on the screen. We also need to erase the previous body before drawing the next one. So that's why it's like stagged everything together. So to fix that, instead of erasing the body before drawing the next one, what we can do is fill the entire window with a background color before drawing the next thing before drawing the next bird body so what we're gonna do for this is we're gonna fill the entire thing with um, black which is 000 for RGB and we're gonna run it and you're gonna see that it is working properly I'm guessing the space key is uh, probably that the jump speed is less than the geogravity the jump as speed jump speed is basically too low to overcome the gravity because the jump as speed is just added once and the gravity is added again and again every frame so let's just slightly increase the jump speed now this part is basically just tweaking around with the values a little bit until you find what feels right it's mostly up to you okay just do whatever you feel like doing like whatever feels right to you Alright, so just after a little bit, little bit of testing, I think that this is looking pretty good. I'm just gonna build up on this. So basically, the bird is uh, practically done. It's it's looking good, uh, at least from a rectangular perspective. It's, it's, it's looking fine to me, at least. And now we need to start, we should start with the obstacles, right? So we're gonna create a class which is going to manage everything, which also includes the obstacles. So I'm gonna just name this class Obstacles uh, Manager. I don't know. And then I'm gonna define the. I'm gonna initialize some stuff in here. So the only thing that really needs to be initialized is a list in which we're gonna store all the active obstacles. So obstacles underscore list is equals to an empty list at the start. And then I'll load a function which is just gonna be called generate obstacles pretty sure I must have some naming convention there but forgive me and then what we're gonna do is uh, what we're gonna do oh yeah right we are going to generate now what I'm thinking is that I'm just gonna put this in here wait let me just create an object using this class there we go now what I'm thinking is that I'm just gonna put it in here like this generate obstacles that means it's gonna run like 60 times every single frame but the problem is I don't want to draw, generate a new obstacle for every single 60 every single frame right it's gonna just fill the entire screen with a lot of obstacles so what we are going to do is that I'm just gonna check for every obstacle in the uh, list of obstacles I'm going to check if obstacle dot x because remember the obstacle is going to be a rectangle when we generate it is going to be a rectangle object so you're going to check if the obstacles x is greater than windows width into 0 0.8 yeah enough 0 0.8 and then we're going to set can generate is equals to false and the start is going to be can generate is equals to true so what this basically does is that there's a variable which is true by by default, which is named can generate. Then we and we basically go through every single obstacle in the list of all of the obstacles. And then what we do is that if the obstacle's x position is greater than the window's width into 0.8, so this basically means if the obstacle is somewhat on the right side, and then we are going to set this variable can generate to false, and then we are going to do if can generate whoa out of this crazy if can generate we're gonna add another uh, another obstacle to the list of the obstacles so basically this variable uh, we basically use this variable to store whether or not we should generate an obstacle or not depending on whether if there is already an obstacle on the right side of the screen or not so we're gonna do self dot obstacles list dot apent which means we're gonna add a new obstacle to the very end of the list it doesn't really matter you can add the obstacle anywhere 
because the x and y position is just stored inside the object itself but I'm just going to use a pen because it's just uh, cleaner so I'm going to add a lot of arguments in here so just to put this into different lines I'm going to do a pen pie game dot rect and then the first of all the x position is going to be window width so it's going to be in the very right of the window like it's, it's, it's almost going to be off screen and then a window height into no I'm going to I'm going to randomly generate the height of this obstacle. Like the, I forgot to tell that this object right here, with, with this rectangle, this obstacle is going to be the bottom obstacle, like the obstacle which is on the lower end, on the bottom, right? And we are going to generate that obstacle first, and then we are going to create a new obstacle just above the below obstacle using the data of the below obstacle. That will be clear in a moment. Just hold on so we're going to do the width width this is what the exposition is going to be it's basically off screen just as, just as i said and now we're going to randomly generate the y position of this uh this rectangle random dot rand in not really necessary but i i just like to get all of the values in integer i'm gonna do self dot wait now what am i doing <laughs> so window width window width no height yeah into 0 0.25 and a window height into 0 0.75 all right let's just put eight there so what this does is just it's going to uh, so what this does is that it's basically going to return a random value that is going to be between this value and between this value which we are going to use to determine the y position of our obstacle object and then what we're gonna do the height the width width yeah the width is gonna be uh, window width into 0 0.01 let's put anything there we're gonna change it and tweak it later on anyway and then the height is gonna be windows height we are putting the entire windows height in here because if you just make the rectangle or the obstacle the as high as the entire window then no matter what the position of it on the y-axis it will always be off screen like it's it's outer edge will always be off screen it will never be like incomplete on the screen i hope that makes sense i'm sorry and then what we're gonna do is we are going to oh wait yeah it's already here okay and then we also need to draw all of those obstacles so for obstacle in uh, manager dot obstacles list uh, we're gonna do by game dot draw dot reg because remember the obstacles are rectangles window is the surface that we're gonna draw and then let's just give this an rgb color of 25500 that means completely red because these things make you lose when you touch them so we are going to draw the obstacle obviously and then we are also going to draw another one like this obstacle is the obstacle which is on the bottom side right we also need an obstacle which is going to be on the above side so what i'm going to do just copy this whole thing in here and then just divide and instead of drawing the obstacle i'm going to draw a new pie game called rectangle which is going to be its exposition is going to be obstacles exposition and obstacle let me just copy 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 so its exposition is going to be obstacles exposition y position is what we really need the width is going to be the same as the obstacles width and the height everything is basically same the thing we need to change is that we are going to basically put this one this rectangle we are going to push this rectangle 125 or 110 30 percent above the bottom rectangle minus win height because remember the width of the height of the obstacle is basically the wind's height windows height so what are you gonna do is minus obstacles y position is my min, uh, minus windows height into 1.3 uh, let me just put 2.5 in it so basically we're going to push this above obstacle uh, so basically 
this obstacle this second obstacle is the same as the first obstacle which is on the bottom side but this one is just pushed 125 percent above the previous one so it basically gets so it basically so it basically creates a gap between itself and the below one and now we need to add one more thing because remember these obstacles are generated off screen we also need to bring them inside the scene so what are you gonna do for that is just create a new function will be scroll scene scene and then just self wait all right self and then I'm gonna put in here for obstacle in obstacles list no self dot obstacles list and then we're gonna have the obstacles y pull x position pushed to the left so we're basically pushing the obstacle left on the x-axis so this line will, uh, will so this line will basically remove one from the obstacles x position and that will basically what it will do is it will push the obstacle to the left a little bit and that will create an illusion like the entire scene is scrolling and just so that uh, we don't have hard coded values around here because uh, you know we don't we are not using hard coded values we're going to use windows width into 0 0.0 uh, 075 and let's just keep a small value for now we're going to tweak it later on and we also need to delete those obstacles which are off screen like which are just gone to the left side right so we're gonna do if obstacle dot x is less than zero so if the obstacles x position is less than zero and we should also just add like we should also negative minus the obstacles width because this x position is basically determined by the obstacle's top left corner right we don't want to do that we need to make sure that the obstacle is completely outside the scene not just its top left corner so we are also gonna deduct the obstacle's width from it all right and what we're gonna do if it's completely off screen we are going to do self dot obstacles list dot remove and we're gonna remove obstacle from the list so basically this will delete the obstacles from existence.